Hello everyone, welcome back to Pause From Plays, Salt and Sanctuary. Round two of this recording, because the first recording was about five minutes and I actually wasn't recording. Um, so, you'll notice that, where the hell am I? I'm actually in the Stone Roots place. I used that crystal orb. Um, and it converted everything and converted this dude over and he's now an alchemist. Um, which means I can transmute weapons. Um, and because I thought I was recording, I did. Um, so I transmuted a spear. See if we can get this, yeah, into this trident. Um, it's kind of a, a cool thing. It's a very, uh, very long range. It's a different combo. Um, I also transmuted a breach pike. Actually, I don't know. What that shaking is either by the way it's like a, cr a critical thing or i don't know i should look that up at some point um this is very much like the triumph it's got better scaling um which is something i really don't understand in this game at all and some people have said that um that's kind of normal <laughs> and some of the weapon scaling is weird and some of the base damage is weird and don't wrap my head around too much. Um, and the other weapon I transmuted was I transmuted this, uh, this whip. The chain whip. Yeah, so I did a little transmutation. Now I have a place I can do transmutation. So, um, yeah. Now I can do those things if I want to. So, let's keep going here. Um, heading to... I don't know where, actually. I have actually no idea where I'm going at this point. Ah, I'm going to... Chain grab town. All right, that's literally just three grabs. I had no chance to get out of. Okie dokie. <laughs> a fine start to this video. Uh, other things people have told me is some of the rolling deal, um, you know, get good. <laughs> the other part is that it's less forgiving than Dark Souls. And um, there's a lot of stuff like grab attacks that just totally ignore rolling in general like that um, so basically again you know don't stress on it too much I'm not the worst player in the world so on and so forth uh, something I did notice when I was messing around um, is that the light spell actually takes a huge amount of focus it's like 60 focus and I wasn't thinking about the implications of that so might not actually end up using that that much this guy looks like a death trap so I'm not 100% uh, sure where I'm supposed to go here. I assume I will eventually hit a dead end. Um, oh goodness. Ah, I did not want to actually... Ah, yeah, yeah. I did not actually want to grab that ledge. Um, okay. Rich Feeder Maw. Um, and these guys just kind of appear. You don't really get a, a chance to see where they're coming from. Uh, let's see. Have I been down here before? I feel like the answer to that is... In... Yes. Because this is where... Alright, this is this cavern. This was right after the boss. And this was a dead end, wasn't it? Doesn't this lead into that, um... Oh. Hello, there are more of you. There's silver leaf, there's a transmutation item. Transmutation takes a lot of uh, salt as well. Um, nope. Man, those grab attacks are the worst. My right, weird eyeball dude. Yeah, this is um, this is definitely not the way I want to be going. I haven't quite figured out the balance I want to use it in terms of how much magic do I use before I use um, glass and things like that? Because it does take pretty nasty chunks out of your uh, max stamina. Um, Alright, and this was the other place I would gotten to. I'm doing a bit of ground retreading here because I'm not 100% sure where I'm going. What was out this side? Have I been out this side? I'm sure I have, and I just don't remember. 
That's a long jump. Oh, what is this? Blink of fire and sky. Is that a, um... Nullifies elemental imbalance. I have absolutely no idea what that actually means. So for now, I will say thank you for the ring and head back in here. I also would like to use the chain whip more, but it's just not nearly as powerful. So currently that is just getting, uh, getting sat. Oh, well, it might be good for these guys. No, it's just, it's not nearly fast enough for the, the low power. I also don't know if, you know, this is stronger against these guys or anything like that. This is a terrible place to be. Uh, if I jump down there, am I stuck? Uh, well, hope not. Now I've been down. This is right. Well, I might as well, uh, might as well do that again. Up we go. Hopefully to the land of progress, because have not the slightest idea where I'm going here. But I assume that I'll eventually find something over this way. I have a fair amount of red shards now, I think. I don't know if there's a max that we can carry or anything like that. How do I get up to that? Oh, these guys are very agile. Oh dear. They also seem to love knocking you out of the sky. Oh, there's another boss here. Um, all right. Well, that's pretty quick. I wonder what this boss is, and I wonder if there's another, um... Oh, I used the green key. Uh, do I want to have used the green key? Is this, um... Oh. Oh, there's a, like a shrine here. Chain chosses. Does this like go around that boss fight? I don't really want to go around a boss fight. So we'll go back to that. What's the, uh, what the chain choss is? Is that? Oh, I thought I saw something creeping up on me. They are very heavy, but they seem very, very good. The roll is a little weaker now. Oh, okay, that's a boss. Didn't realize I was coming in the, the backside here. Well. Uh, okay, he is pretty creepy. Maybe he doesn't like fire. Oh, he's, he's burning. So fire does a burning damage. So we've turned him into Burning Man. Ah, jokes. Oh, dear. I really like to not die here. There we go. So I have also been told I'm a little bit over leveled here, so not too surprised that I managed to take him out. I have a lot of everything. Imposter. Yeah, that was listed as what, like the false jester, I think it said? Yeah, false jester's ears. Um, yeah, so I guess that little, that key, um, stone leader. Oh, that's the, um, the covenant leader, or whatever we're calling them in this creed. Hmm. Okay. Well, what's up this way? If that was, um... 
that was a shrine, there's probably not... Sanct what are you? Hi. Alright, you are Looney Bin. Noted. Down is up and up is down. Okay. Sure. Oh, I don't know if I like this idea. Oh, okay, I'm branded. What did that do for me? Vertigo brand. Oh, good. Go treasure chest. Oh, it has uh, his outfit. Oh, we can use these things. To oh, goodness. Oh, that's... That, yeah, that's very bad. No, 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 I don't want to... Oh, okay. So those, those break it. Those little glowy... bits. Um... Do I... I think I need to backtrack, because this is... Silver Shield, okay. Um, this is making me uneasy. What is the shield, silver shield like compared to my, whatever that is, Toothless Shield? Oh, it's a rank 2 shield? It's class 2 buckler. So now, I guess all of those obelisks that we've seen um, can turn me upside down? Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that was part of the game. That will um, probably make my brain hurt at some point. Yeah, there's another one. How do I... Well, this is Bandit's Pass. The Stone Alchemist. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I didn't need to convert that other place after all. Uh, I think I will go back... Speaking of Alchemist, I'll go back to the Alchemist here. I like these chain things, but I don't like that they make me... Bat roll, as it were. Um... So the question now is, do I go back to earlier places in the game where I saw those, um, those obelisks? Are they, are those obelisks all, do they all do that? Are there different types? I don't know. Oh, here's another one, for example. Um, I am worried about falling off the top of the screen and dying. I'm sure that's actually a thing that can happen. So if I can get back to safety here first, I shall do that. Maybe I will go back and see what I can find there. All right. Um, this is, wait a minute, this is not where I thought I was. Right, it's back in the other place, the other direction. Yeah, 12,000 salt. Um, I definitely don't want to accidentally lose that. Oh, but to get back there, I have to go, like... All sorts of weird directions, don't I? I might be able to take a short jaunt this way to get there. A little nerve-wracking across the falling platforms over the near bottom of the pit. I would, uh, I really wish that I had more of those stone guides. Um... The ones that let you do the... Is it a stone guide? I think it's the one that lets you teleport. In fact, what I should probably do is make sure I have a stone alchemist somewhere where one of those is. In fact, I could probably just place one somewhere to do that.
Oh, that was almost death. That is also transmutation material. In fact, it seems like most of this stuff is transmutation material that I've been picking up. Or for turning into uh, to leaders. Oh, but the range is just not tall enough. Um, I think that's what I'm wearing right now. Oh, jeez. I definitely do not want to fall my death while I've got um, all this stuff on me. There was probably a faster way to do this, but I don't really know what it is, so this is the way we're going. Oh, sh- Hmm. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm like all the way back here now. Uh, well, let me, uh, how am I going to do it? I think I'm closer if I go here. I don't even really know at this point. Can I make an offering here still? I kind of want to just put an alchemist here. Um. Wait, who, what? Who the hell was that? Who, wait, what? Who was that? <laughs> Am I losing my mind here? Who is the other guy? Who is the other hunter there? Does it show you, like, other players sometimes? I've just not seen it before? That was very bizarre. Um... I'm trying to think of how I need to... No, it's down here. I will kill these guys along the way. Full extra gold and such. trick will be not falling again. Um, so when I did the off-camera of getting that item up there, that was basically what you missed a lot of, because I am super not a fan of this area. Here, my, uh, there. In fact, I'm tempted to actually equip a ranged weapon here. Oops, that was... Alright, so I at least got my salt back, so if I do die again, um, I at least have that. The sooner I never have to come back through, through this area, the better. I'm not even going to deal with them. I have way too much stuff to deal with them. Alright, here we go. Uh, I mainly just want to see what else you can transmute. Can you transmute anything for me with the, um, the false gesture thing? Doesn't look like it. Sadly. Hmm. Nope, I don't have any, any of these amber idols yet, either. 
I could make an offering of, uh, I don't really want to. So let's level up. Actually, I can only get two levels out of this. Um, oh no, I'm gonna get 36, 37, and 30. I'm gonna get three levels. All right, uh, let's see, where do we wanna go here? Half class two sword fighter now. Um. Why get class three pole arm? Could get class three whips, but I just haven't seen any whips, and I really don't need more willpower right now. Although, I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, to be honest. It does increase your drop rate, too, which is interesting. I'm not sure how much of an effect that actually has. The other thing is, I just, I haven't found, um, oh, if I do class one bows, I could actually transmute my bow. Yeah. Well, I probably don't have enough, um, stuff now to do that. Yeah, let me see. Transmute. Next sword. Oh, it's a dexterity sword. That is also a dexterity sword, but this is a class 2 dexterity sword. Huh. Uh, in the bow, I can turn to the Vilehawk bow. <laughs> I need 1500 salt though. Alright, that's okay. We can go get that. I think I'll do that and then maybe keep a, a bow on my off. I don't know, I'm using like all sorts of stuff here. I should probably specialize, but I'm having fun playing around with all the different things. We can kill this guy. Oops. Fortunately, I did not want to uh, actually jump up there. Yeah, stop that sometime. There we go. Oh, he gave me a pouch of salt also. I think that's only the hundred though, right? Yeah. So we kill him one more time though, I'll have enough. There we go. So now I can go make that. I guess I do need to use a bow at some point, or want to. Uh, oops. Right. Yeah, why not? So now you can see the transmuting too, how that actually works out. Now then. Fortunately... Uh, I'm gonna have to run to get myself anywhere because I don't have a stone guide at any of those other places. Now I assume I'm heading back towards uh, Bandit Pass next. Although, where are those upside down areas? Or potential upside down areas earlier in the game. But it seems like maybe Bandit Pass is where I'm supposed to be going here. Is there anything good I can buy here? I can buy more arrows. Maybe uh, I could also buy some, just buy some salt. How many, um, red shards do I have? Quite a few. The pitch fire seems pretty good also. Might as well grab a couple more of those. Um. I don't know how useful poison is, but, oh, I might as well get some more arrows.
I guess we'll get some poison arrows too, just in case those are actually useful. And yes, I am spending a ton of money right now, but uh, basically use it or lose it. Sure, it's 600 salt that I can carry. But I'd actually like to get to another shrine or something a little further up if possible. Oops. How well does really? I didn't see how well the uh, fire arrow did, unfortunately. So this one... Oh, that's weird. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's fancy. So you get a little bit of momentum that carries you when you break free of that. Uh, we got Ascarian Skidum and, um, or however that's pronounced, and a uh, Sack of Salt. That shield... Like... 100 Strike Defense. Uh, not quite as good as my shield, unfortunately. In fact, it seems worse than... Oh no, it's got a lot of uh, magic resistance. Uh, well, if I wasn't lost enough on uh, right side up, boy, let me tell you, upside down is going to do wonders. Now, is, this isn't where I was before, right? No, this is totally different. Voracious Charm. Leech's HP, ooh. Doesn't say how much though, but I like that idea. A little Bloodborne action, perhaps. Um, okay. I might be able to test it out here. Oh, Jesus. I don't think it's that much HP. In fact, I think it's so little that it's probably not worth losing my attack speed. So where was... Bandit's Pass, I, I think is where I need to go. to not light up things nearly as much as I'd hoped. So that's the shrine. Did I go through here? Yes. Maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is where we first got this thing. Is there anything else up here? What is out this way? Ah, okay. So this is another connection point. This goes back to the banquet. Oh yeah, this guy. Hey, buddy. What do you sell? You sell... Um... Oh, you sell the stained page. Arcane damage to your attacks. You also sell some class 2 heavy armor. So now this actually, I think, let's connect all the way back out to where I'm, back out to the beginning. Because if so, then uh, what I'll probably do is head back there. Yeah, 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 okay. Good, good, good. I don't remember what it was. There were one of those obelisks really early on here. 
I'm gonna extend this episode a few extra minutes just to take a quick look. I feel like there was. Very nearby here. I hope I'm not mistaken, but I seem to recall there was one out here and I was like, I have no idea what that is for. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I'm losing my voice. Yeah, nuts. I could have sworn there was one. Oh, here it is. No, there is. <clears throat> Alright. Uh. Oh, that's... Game... Oh, did I not actually rest at the, um... Yeah... Now wait a minute, was there more? There was, right? Because if I go up here, that goes into Bandit's Pass. I hear my cat doing who knows what. No, it doesn't. This isn't a thing. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have to find out where I'm going here. Man, um... The layout of this game really messes with my head sometimes. I really wish I had a uh, mini-map of some sort. Or just a, a general map of some sort. But we can at least go back this way. Might as well give myself some light here. I mostly just want to, you know what, I should, when I inevitably fall again. Uh, I really just want to see what's up there and have it on camera. I hope it's something good after all this. Should do some more upgrading too. Um, I have quite a few locks of hair. I get get me the basic upgrades on a few items. I think. Oh no, I gotta go this way. Yeah. Or do it, yeah. Oh, that's kind of mean. Put my, um... Oh, okay. That was almost... Um, uh... Can I have that back now? Thank you. Oh, this is weird. Uh... I feel like that's probably bad news. Get up around there. Ah. I'm just I'm like I'm super afraid that it's gonna just send me off into the into space basically when I jump out here. You can't grab items while you're upside down either. Alright, there's a right side up. Oh, and there's a, uh... 
knight also. It's a nasty place to fight him. Sparkling ring and a stone guide. Okay, good. Um, I'm kind of afraid to use the stone guide now, but at least I have one. Sparkling ring, increased healing power. There's no lore on it either, which is kind of weird. Uh, but there should be items here. We get a black pearl. Nice. And what was the other item? Oh, is that a treasure chest up there? I think it is. I totally missed it. Arrows. Um... Yeah, I think there's another item up there I missed. There's like a treasure chest. Oh, Cavalier's Armor. Cool. Oh no. Class 4 Heavy Armor. Holy cow. How do I even get to Class 4 Heavy Armor? I have no idea. Uh, let me use a bell. Maybe we'll actually take a look at that. And then I'll definitely end the episode, because we're way overdue at this point. Yeah, where is... Where's heavy armor? It's class 2, class 3... Class 4 is way out there. Maybe I'll start working towards that, though, because... Um, I like armor. I like not dying, basically. Um, we get some strength to do that. Class two. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start working that way and grab a, uh, another healing potion along the way. Two healing potions along the way, actually. That's not that far off. It's kind of a bit far off. But anyway, that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon.